Tiny Desk been kind of getting real, real hot right now. Man. It's been popping. It's been giving a lot of our, um, I want to say our older generation that came up like when I came up. It's giving them a lot of shine of classic album, classic songs, and putting people really reviving careers. Real well, they ain't just had like just you know older artists, or they didn't have you know artists that's you know popping right now. You know what I'm saying? Oh they yeah, had yeah. Summer yeah, Walker yeah. didn't have Migos, didn't have. Shit. But I like I know I'm, I, I know they had that I just like Ross. that they're I just like that they're bringing the a lot of the older rappers yeah, are yeah. coming back and doing it. It's not like they couldn't do it before because some have. It's just that now people are really getting on it. So when and it started, well, it didn't start with them, but when they brought Scarface up, it there. definitely didn't start with Scarface. Man. And no, well, no, no, I'm just saying I've with that kind of as far as rap COVID, or, or Charlie Wilson, people didn't yeah, even know was Charlie some of the Wilson ones that brought it more. I would say to the broad, you know, the broader public, but. And that is a good look that they, you know, brought on like a Scarface to Charlie Wilson because it make you realize how many hits they got. You know? Yeah. And, yeah, we're going to go into it real quick, man. Uh, I know y'all probably seen Jeezy out there. And if I go into this, man, yeah. <laughs> if I go into this, man, that just make you think, bro, man. I always got to bring this man's name up every time, bro. Damn if you could have got a Tiny Desk uh, R. Kelly, bro, man. Damn. Cause it really like Tiny Desk is there to show you like the. I mean, we might can't get a Tiny Desk, but we can get a Tiny Sale. He could, bro. That's something that could be done. That could be done, bro, man. But, hey, man, we might have to be A and R on this, bro, man. I'm gonna bring y'all our Kelly, man, Tiny Sale edition, bro. We are gonna hey, give him about 20, 30 minutes. Man, let him run through. Write that nigga, man. Write that nigga. I'm gonna write that nigga, man. Fuck. Put some money on his books. I got fifty. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm man, they freezing his books, man. Anything coming in, they taking it, man. You got to go in there with a lawyer and slip it underneath the thing, bro. You can't oh, do it like that. But, uh, yeah, man, that, that that just makes you wonder, though, like, they was doing them then, though, when he was they out. doing them then, man. But I ain't gonna lie, though. It's a lot of them out here that I just definitely wasn't on like that. I think the Jeezy one was pretty cool. That's the newest one out there. That's I didn't, do. I didn't, I didn't, I like the material. I'm a Jeezy fan. I just didn't. I think some artists need their backgrounds. And then a he lot of them, had them, he, he could have, I, I feel yeah. like he should have programmed them in. Because it kind of sounded weird because he's not a big lyricist. So when you when you say these lyrics and you be like, that, that, okay. I think he could. I mean, he could have definitely. I, I needed, mean, he think, needed that. <laughs> he needed that he behind. He known for his background. So, yeah. you know, it only makes sense to at least have that in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just hard to listen to some of the songs without it. You know, first, I'm going to slack, but he ain't had it then. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Crowd had to feel that in. So I felt like maybe it should have been a better. Song selection, maybe, because he ended it with something. I was just like, "Oh my god, yo, I had nothing." Yeah, you got a that. whole lot of it. Yeah, man, that, hey, that, that, that shit was hard, but it's not hard on the you level. You don't end your yeah. tiny desk like that. You know what I mean? All of his Jeezy got. I think he just like it always come to your sequence, bro. Yeah. Like, who's doing your track list? Who's to know putting what it together. Don't get me wrong, you always got to go back and you got to grab like your first, you know, you know, pretty much, you know, records, whatever that got you popping. But I ain't gonna lie, I ain't, I ain't really want to hear it and then what. But I, mean, I would take, no, I'll take the back. Yeah, I hear yeah. and then what, because it was the first single. I would have rather heard him. Nah, I ain't want to. But really. if you're gonna give me Air Forces, though, I'm like, I feel like you already, you know what I'm saying, took care of that because you're giving me something for the same time frame. You yeah. Get, they both was on the same I mean, album. he has so much stuff. He could have did some stuff off. Uh, the second album, the uh, what you call? I, can't I need a vacation. Pull up to the cater where it's greater. Hey, bro, come on, man. He could do oh, the recession album. That, that oh, album was so God. fucking hard, but it took me. That's what I'm saying. My little mind, bro, man. I ain't even know, nigga, until probably about uh, probably about ten years later, maybe like seven, eight years later, or something like that, man. I got older, bro. I was like, bro, oh, that nigga, all these places he's talking about is in Atlanta. Atlanta, yeah. <laughs> Oh, he talking about the hoods and the, he talking about the bluff. He talking about going to the fourth ward. He talking about, I'm like, oh, I'm thinking this nigga. He came around the world. Nah, he talking about yeah. going around the world, bro. That's his vacation. It's clever, man. That but clever. that's, but <laughs> songs like that, though. Songs that you don't depend on a lot of backgrounds. You know what I'm saying? So. <sighs> you should have did Lose My Mind. That's one of your biggest Oh, my man. God. Like, come on, bro. We got so many songs he could have did. That's why I did it. Because I hate everybody on there. Fire, fire, fire. They just be saying stuff to be saying stuff. Cause them, but in all reality, if you put it up against Faces and other ones. No. I wouldn't even put them up against them, though. 
<clears throat> now along the lines of Rick Ross, you know, I seen we as I seen Rick Ross do one, and he had some background singers that were battling each other. That was, Getting down to the money. Yeah. I mean, some things what? just don't need background singers, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, some things just don't need it. This nigga had a live band and a DJ. I said, what the hell is going on, bro? Like, you got a DJ. No, you can do that. Because you got to have... I, mean, I wouldn't play them... I wouldn't intertwine both of them together. Like, if it's a song that needs to have the DJ, or if it's I need to drop ad-libs, I mean, uh, backgrounds on it, yeah. Yeah. But only he going to be doing is the backgrounds. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Jeezy should have probably had a DJ. He could have still had the live band, but he should have had a DJ with a stripped down version and the backgrounds in there. So had him play that the would have then that would have been on point, and then he could have turned them off on songs where he was gonna have the crowd participate. Cause those songs was the best when he had the crowd. And then what? The crowd was doing that. Cause when I heard that damn, uh, when I heard uh, what's the shit called, man? When I heard "Go Crazy," bro, man, <laughs> when a nigga playing, the nigga was playing the flute. I said, no, "Oh man. shit, man!" Nigga had Andre three thousand back. And I tell you, with no background, I'm so emotional. I hugged the block, and the, I like, hey, bro, y'all could have put some reverb on his mic or something. Man. If y'all ain't gonna have no background, or something. Man. But I love it though, man. I like to see performances, and you know, definitely from artists like you know Jeezy. That I came up on. Shout out Jeezy though, but next time y'all get a tiny desk, man, let's get Outcast up there, man. Let's get Outcast an hour. Bro, you not getting Outcast. Let's get Outcast an hour. Desk, bro. You don't think so? You'd be better off getting Sleepy Brown and uh, Big Boy, bro. Oh, yeah. you don't think they can get a tiny desk, a 45 minute set from Outcast? Hell no, bro. It ain't 45 minutes, Damn. though. They only usually do like that. Nah, we gotta get them 45. Few people, you gotta get that too. I, it's something, man. R. Kelly. You would have to give them a 45. We be talking about this all day, but there's so many artists. Yeah, that's one. But I'm saying, we be it's so many artists out here that's free. Mary J. Blige. That's what I'm saying. Give it's so many 45. You can't give her 20 minutes, bro. She got too much. But that's what they do, though, bro. Charlie Wilson only got like 20 minutes or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Face only got like 20 minutes, man. But I was going to say, though, man, you almost threw me off on who I want to say, bro. You said Mary J. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. Stupid, man. man. It was somebody else, man. With that, the big R? Nah, we already, we already passed that, man. Uh, Dre is another crazy one as far as Tiny Desk. I think Game would do a crazy Tiny Desk. 50 he ain't movie. done one already? I, I, I would. I think I would have seen it, man, but huh? I don't know. I, I seen it the other day. I was like, Gucci got one? But, yeah. Uh, 50? Uh, shit, man. There's a lot of artists that can do one, but it's, it's got. But they guy. very. I, I noticed something. They very strategic in picking who they do Tiny Desks with. Because there'd be somebody out to believe it, like, oh. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's new All artists right. doing them, so. I don't know, man. Um, shout out to Jeezy, man. Yes, sir. Shout out Jeezy still. He came up there. He did his thing. And I, I, one thing I did like about him before we get into it, I like that he, I think he sequenced those songs as kind of like his story. Because I heard him like yeah. going through stories of how he came up, how he got it, got to the club and all that. So that was dope that he was kind of going into a story with the songs, which could have been why that track listing was like that. I ain't mad at it because that's, you know, a more personable feel type yeah. of performance. So, you know, shout out to him and his 8732s, all that. <laughs> oh, <shoot. laughs> shout out Blood Raw, man. Shout him out, man. Shout out my boy Blood Raw, man. man. Still leaving yams in my auntie house, too. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> shout out Freddie Gears when they was cool, nigga. Right, bro. <laughs> Drop a mama crazy. First strap had a body on it. Fuck 